Hey everyone, it's Andy with the Reverb Tome Report, and today we're looking at three new pedals in the JHS Legends of Fuzz series. As a bonus, they've also released the Vulture pedal, which you can use to starve and get that dying battery effect with any of these fuzzes or your own analog pedals. So let's check them all out. Having covered some of the more essential fuzz territory in the first batch of Legends, JHS pedals dug even deeper into the collection to bring back three underrated fuzz designs from the late 60s and early 70s. Introducing the plug-in based on the Jordan Boss tone, the Mary Kay, a reboot of the plastic Nobles K fuzz tone, and the Berkeley, a tribute to the rare Sea Moon Fresh Fuzz. These legends are housed in a rugged enclosure and feature a JHS mode, which takes the circuits to new heights, often with more mid-range content. Fuzz lovers can all agree that sometimes the best sounds occur when the battery is not at full capacity. Lower voltages can have a huge effect on the feel, tone, and the way the fuzz fizzles out. Enter the JHS Vulture, a foot-switchable power utility pedal that goes in between your analog pedal's power cable. The knob controls the voltage from around 8 volts down to nothing, safely conjuring up a little extra sag all the way to dying battery sputter. And you could use them on these fuzzes or any other analog dirt box. For more info, check out the JHS Legends of Fuzz and the Vulture right here on Reverb. Although it was a first in the US, the plug-in concept of the boss tone didn't catch on. But that didn't stop players like Randy California from Spirit from using it throughout his whole career. Replacing the plastic enclosure and putting it in a pedal board friendly format is the plug-in. The JHS mode widens the spectrum by reducing the compression and increasing the mid-range for an even bigger, bolder sound. The mode switch on the plug-in is a great way to fatten up single coils and just add a bit more of that fat mid-range. So I just kind of see it as a single coil and humbucker switch. So let's start with the stock mode, which is going to be a lot more compressed and a kind of a hairy top end. And then I'll kick it in and you'll see how it just really matches with these high output single coils. <laughs> And the cool thing with the Vulture is that it's really up to you on how you want to use it. You could use, say, a starved sound to get kind of a saggier, lower voltage sound with a little bit less output, too. And then when you want to bypass the Vulture, you'll get that tremendous output boost and a tighter sound for leads.
The K-Fuzz tone was a massive sounding octave up fuzz that had a tone control tied to a treadle which you can rock back and forth like a wah. Although a favorite of U2's The Edge, this plastic fuzz usually found itself rehoused to handle the road. The Mary Kay gives you the option to precisely dial in the frequency with a knob or connect an expression pedal to sweep like the original. The JHS mode gives you more control over the gain and pushes the mids to make this bass heavy fuzz heard more clearly. Just like the old K-Fuzz, let's use a foot pedal to sweep through the tone range. And you can hear how it really has kind of a, a unique wah sweep. It's uh, more like a filter than anything else because you could use anything at the either end of the spectrum and it's not going to sound too thin or too muddy. <laughs> Berkeley is JHS's take on an early op amp based fuzz created in 73 by none other than Craig Anderton. Without the typical transistors that fuzz pedals used, the fresh fuzz had a fat compressed tone and gobs of output. The Berkeley retains all these qualities but gives you a JHS mode which improves on the brightness of this fairly smooth fuzz. Now my favorite part of the Legends of Fuzz series is that mode switch because you could really just go from that classic original sound to something a little bit more modern and oftentimes more usable. So let's uh, just crank up the bite on the Berkeley, get the maximum amount of gain and I'll show you how the mode switch can really add that treble uh, sparkle that is kind of missing on the vintage circuit. 
Part of the fun with these more esoteric fuzz pedals is kind of finding those sweet spots. Now with the Berkeley, there are a lot of them uh, in both high and low gain settings. So you've heard some you know, higher gain settings with that bite control cranked up. Let's back it off and take advantage of the massive output with this op amp circuit. <laughs> You'll be surprised what happens when you pair up the Vulture with your favorite overdrive and distortion pedals, especially when you kind of get around that six or seven volt range. It really just kind of tightens things up in the same way as a gated fuzz. And you could take it down even farther and get some sputtering fuzz tones. Well, that's the Legends of Fuzz series filling out nicely and with some really esoteric circuits this time around. You can find them as well as the Vulture right here on Reverb. And be sure to let us know in the comments which one is your favorite in the series so far. I'll see you next time.